Hey everybody, I'm Tara from Crooked Row, and today I was making some spaghetti sauce, beautiful spaghetti sauce, and I started stumbling across these just gorgeous brandywine tomatoes. I mean, I could kiss these. They are, they are just gorgeous, uh, perfect organic heirloom tomatoes, and we're at the end of the season, and I realized as I was doing the tomato sauce, that I haven't showed how to make tomato pie. So I thought I'd run out here, show you our beautiful tomatoes, and let's make some tomato pie together. Let's get to my kitchen. Here is my gorgeous tomato sauce that is cooking down. And while that happens, I'm gonna go ahead and make the crust to my tomato pie. So your ingredients that you need for this is first, beautiful ripe tomatoes. Now some people use Roma tomatoes, I never do. I always use my Brandywine tomatoes. They're just so full flavored and they can be a bit juicy. So just keep that in mind if you wanna salt them and put them in a colander so that they can lose a little bit of their juiciness. I don't, I don't mind the juiciness. Uh, you're definitely gonna need scallions, mozzarella cheese. I don't have it out, but I also use um, extra sharp cheddar cheese, fresh basil, mayonnaise, and we like the addition of turkey bacon. So I'm gonna get on, <clears throat> you can please feel free to use a store-bought crust. I personally like an all butter crust, so let's get to that. That is so perfect. Look at that dough. Look at that dough come together. I mean, that is gorgeous. Okay, here is my board, and I'm just going to sprinkle some flour on this board. Now you wanna be careful because you don't wanna add tons uh, to the dough. This dough is pretty well perfect. So I just don't want it to stick. Okay. So this is pretty mixed all on its own. I just wanna fold it over just a little bit and I'm gonna cut this into two separate discs. These are beautiful. They're going in my refrigerator. Please don't forget that you can purchase yours. Again, I just like the taste of my dough a whole lot better than purchased dough. So these are gonna go in my refrigerator for the next two hours and we'll come back when they're done. Okay, let's get this a little bit floured and start.
absolutely gorgeous. I made two small ones and here is the large one. Oh, it's too hot to eat so I'm gonna let it rest for a bit and then we'll eat it. Okay, tell me what you think. Mm. Oh, oh, it's delicious. I love it. <laughs> Have wow. I told you you're my favorite? <laughs> well, I told you you're mine. <laughs> okay, Jed, tell me what you think. I think it's delicious. You it's like you think, I think that you don't have to add anything to it. Okay, thank you. You're welcome. It's really good. I don't, I don't think you need to add anything either. And it's delicious. It's, it's the best thing I've ever tasted. <laughs> Go ahead. Mm. That is very good. Is it good? Why is that good? Um, it has like a pizza flavor, but it's deeper and juicier. Mm. And there's a much stronger meat flavor as opposed to like the strong bread you get with pizza. Awesome. Okay, it's time for me to taste it. So. Let me load myself up a bite. Mm. Oh, that is so. We like have the smokiness from the turkey bacon, the sweetness and acidity from the tomatoes. And um, then what is all this anise flavor from the basil? And I have to say, the crust mm. is amazing. Ah. Uh, worth doing the crust do the crust guys it's great well there you have it we made tomato pie today um, it is absolutely scrumptious we all love tomato pie it's very rich so it's not something that you want it, it is kind of the star I always say it's a side dish but it's not really you could take it maybe as an appetizer to some functions and things like that I also want to point out that your cooking time is gonna vary. I know that I even looked online to see different people and what they were cooking theirs at. And some people were doing 350 for 30 minutes. My oven needed almost double that. So even if the cheese is starting to get overcooked, I would go ahead and tint it with foil because <clears throat> you, sometimes your crust is gonna be like dough if you don't keep it in there long enough. And you can kind of scoot the side over uh, with a fork to see what your dough's looking like. It's gonna be soft because it's gonna be hot, but not like, like you want it crispy exactly. Um, but there's so many different things that you can actually do with this. Some people put in pepperoni, um, some people put in sausage, you could put in different types of meats. Um, you can add onions, I mean I added scallions, but you could add onions, you could add uh, so many different things to this. Uh, peppers, anything that you put on a pizza, you can put on this. It's so, so good. But that topping makes it so rich and delicious. It's really kind of decadent. So it's not something you want to eat every day. 
<laughs> you also want to kind of let it cool. Um, I would say at least 45 minutes. Uh, you might want to test it. It's going to just, if you do it while it's like hot, hot, it's going to ooze out and fall all over the place. It's going to, just like a, a normal pie, it's going to set up a little bit. So I'd give it a chance to set up. Um, the people in my house are, you know, very anxious and taking little bites and oh, burning their tongue. <laughs> so I would definitely suggest to let it cool. So if you have any questions about this or you want to see another type of recipe, let us know in the comments below. I'll also have the recipe for this and the crust, I'll put them separate in the comments below. And remember, if we can make tomato pie, actually if we can make delicious tomato pie, <laughs> anybody can. Thanks. Bye.